because of two reasons. The first, I believe that there are researchers uh, and and uh, bright-minded people and and scholars and scientists in my home country. But the reason why they would wouldn't be able to perform their work the way they want to do, because of that, there is a kind of uh, you can say yeah uh, the gap between the research they are doing and their implementation part. For example, we can say the inclusion of scientific and socially socially analyzed knowledge by the scientist or researcher into the policy making or the decision making process. So what happened then, a researcher or a student went to a research, it would and if it would not be implemented on the ground, he or she will get demotivated. And then this will continue with the upcoming or this demotivation will continue with the upcoming researcher and the students. So the overall moral or the motivation level to do uh, good research would definitely fall down because of this gap. But still, the recent, say the prominent scientific event which was happened in the Pakistan was the researcher who managed to identify a fungus which will help to degrade the plastic naturally. So their plan is to somehow use that fungus into the oceans to eat or to remove all the moving within the ocean. There are limited resources, there is gap. Still, somehow researchers who are motivated enough, they are doing their job very good. And the other reason which I feel that uh, somehow demotivate the researcher or challenge the situation or structure of researcher and students in my home country, the gap between the academia itself to the change agents, for example, the state, the industry, the decision maker, the ministries, and, and to the other counterpart universities as well. So, yeah, so this gap would also be play a negative role or would would create a challenging position for the researchers who want to, you know, work with, with the state, who wants to work with the industry. So there are very less such collaborations available where actually a student or a researcher can approach to an industry or to a state or to a decision maker directly to work with them during their academic years, I mean. So, so that, that's, that's the second challenge, I would say. The tuition fee for study is going, is rising year after year. So even if you uh, would like to continue your study or such things, you will find like it's, it's really hard to, to, to finance that. That's why, for example, here it's, in Germany, it's almost like cheaper than uh, in my home country for going for master's degree, for example, or research or anything. That's the first thing. Second, even if you want to, to talk about motivation, like you don't have any motivation uh, as a student to finish the bachelor degree or the master's degree or a PhD, it's almost the same, like mm, no special position for those people who worked hard and spend more much time for study. Third, if I want to speak about the professors and their way of teaching, it's the same as you are in school. Like you have a book, you have rules and you follow it and that's it. You read the rules and you go for the exam. There are no like thinking beyond beyond that what we are going to, to, to do like in the practical part or when you finish your study and go for a job, when you face some trouble, how you deal. We don't know because we were not adapted to things like uh, professionals or such things. We are only like students uh, studying lectures, uh, le lectures which almost theoretical part. Those focused on uh, the scientific research and in agriculture often lack financial support. Still, it's a big problem in, in Ghana. And therefore, many are not able to engage in the research they might want to do because of the financial limitations. 
And also I can say that even those who are able to conduct the research, these research are often not implemented by the government. They end up on the shelves of the ministries and they never get implemented. Yeah, it's a big problem. And and I'm a political science student, so let me give a little of those engaged in, in the problem is any any research in that has to do with the governance or politics are often seen as, as as a bad as a bad image for the government when someone does a research on the on the current political situation in the country and therefore getting data for such research is often very difficult because the mini ministries departments and agencies will not want to want to open up because they feel they they might be fired from their jobs if they do yeah and uh, let me give a specific example there's a friend of mine who's also on DAD right now we are in the same university he went home for data collection on a very important issue that I believe will be of importance to our government information was not forthcoming from the government institutions because everyone tells him well if I open up I'll be fired he came back highly disappointed I would say one of the challenges of students in our country, we often lack infrastructure, educational infrastructure, such as schools yeah, and, and educational materials. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And also, it, 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 education in my country often has to do with the lottery of location. <laughs> I mean, if you, are, if you are living in the cities, you often tend to have a quality education as compared to those living in the rural areas. Yeah, so it, it's more of where you find yourself, you tend to benefit more depending on where you find yourself.